Welcome back to Friends with Benefits, everyone. My name is Diego. My name is Matt. Dylan. I think. Ice. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Today we have a very special guest. My boy Dylan. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> Extra oh, special. Yeah. He's a uh, Salt Lake City comedian. Wise Guys Comedy. He's uh, number one in the nation. That's the best nice. jokes in the yeah, world. That's right. He, <laughs> number just, one. he just booked a stadium tour. He did. He just, I don't know if you guys heard, but. <laughs> <laughs> the Dave Chappelle of our generation. Oh, <laughs> Without the controversy. Yeah. I don't know about Wait, that. Hold up. Maybe yeah. that. <laughs> we got ops out here, bro. I'm surprised they didn't pull up tonight. Hey, <laughs> for real. You're going to bust the window over here. Yeah, yeah oh, literally, man. Can we close that? <laughs> get snipe, bro. Before we hop into everything, please take a second to support us by liking, subscribing, leaving a five-star review. Whatever you got to do, just support us however you can. We appreciate it. Dylan. <laughs> How did we meet you, bro? Uh, all right, we'll start with Diego. I'm at Diego in football. Yes, sir. Always had the vibe, bro. Like, good kid pulling up. Most kids didn't. Yeah. I'm at Matt. Uh, high school. High school. Yeah, I'm at Matt. High school football, right? Yes. I, thing with Matt, I remember, like, some weird went down at McDonald's, bro. Like, I picked up the McDonald's. food that wasn't mine. Oh, I remember oh, the yeah. story. It was... And then Matt covered. Yeah. He paid for it. And then Phelps, Wink, oh, and me yeah. were, like, chilling at my house. And we were just, like, talking about you. We were just, like, dude. <laughs> Matt is Christ-like, bro. <laughs> Shut up, Christ-like, dude. And then this man over here, Isaac, definitely met him in junior high. Junior high. Uh, yeah, junior high. I remember watching those movies. Like, on that <laughs> downloaded app. Bro, I used to put this guy on. We used to, because you know those one, two, three movies apps? Oh, bro. We used to be in math viruses? class. We used to be, yeah, we used to be in math class, like, whatever. And I'd be yeah. watching We're the Billers or some shit. We're the Millers, bro. That's, that's literally. We used to watch We're the Millers like in math or whatever. He's really, like, bro, check this out. And I'd like send him links to like the videos or like the, the movie One, sites. Two, three movies. God, yeah, yeah, dude. Those movie sites are so sketchy. I, I probably down. got viruses on oh, viruses yeah, yeah, on my phone because of them. Dude, back then it was even more crazy though. It was like, oh, I can watch Where the Millers. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Has a couple bad bitches. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, now everything's like goes automatically to streaming, so it's like not as crazy if you're like, yeah. oh, I'm watching this movie. Like yeah, the theaters, like a true. bunch of people are already watching mm -hmm. higher definition. Yeah. I'm watching like the cam, the cam version of it. <laughs> <laughs> the the yeah. <laughs> and then oh. someone's like watching like the full HD 4K. Oh God, right. But we yeah. all met through like football. Yes, yeah, because yeah, your dad was true. the coach. Yeah, my dad was the coach. Right. It was nice. Right, so I this started. was QB one, by the way, right here. Yeah, was QB one. Out here, we were 0 and five to start. <laughs> bro, I used to remember people like saying stuff like, oh, he wouldn't be playing if his dad wasn't the coach. And it cost me, bro. <laughs> it's messed up. Yeah, bro. I, was, I remember like crying about it, honestly. Oh, oh, so that's going to get to your head. 100%. Yeah, I, I think every like coach's son is thinking the same battle. thing. Is everyone thinking the same thing? Though? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, to be fair, though, there's one time that I remember I was like, oh, this dude deserves to be QB. We were doing like the ring of fire where you just go heads up with everybody. Like, and it was like kind of like a king of the hill kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Whoever won stayed. And then I remember this dude won and he went against Monster and he beat Monster. And Monster's like, <laughs> bro, we were in like junior high. Monster's like a 400 pound, 500 pound kid. Yeah. He started like growing into his body though, bro. Like back he then, did. it was like a thing. I'd pick him because nobody would pick him. But I was like, oh, I know. Duck, Duck, Goose. Yeah. I remember when we used That's to so do that. You had the dog mentality. So yeah, dude. Fun. But yeah, it's because you were like, he was the smallest. You were the guy smallest, the right? You were the yeah. smallest out of like everyone. And I was like, yeah, this guy, what the fuck are you playing quarterback? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see over the offensive line, but but like just a tough kid right here, dude. Taking on the biggest guys on the field, no remorse. <laughs> if I wasn't injured, bro, I, I was injured a lot of times. Screw you, monster. But no, it was fun, bro. <laughs> that was my first year playing football, and it was on your team with your dad, and it was with all the other boys. It was so fun. We went five out of eight, and then we went to the Turkey Bowl, and we won the Turkey Bowl. Yeah, Turkey Bowl was always our thing, bro. Oh, it was so fun, bro. I know you guys brought it up a little bit. Some of the shenanigans you guys did in junior high. I want to hear some more, oh, some more stories. Man. The rope swing. Oh, the, oh, the bro. rope swing. Dude, I remember watching a podcast year guys. Is like you were talking about junior high. I was like, Del God, I was gonna pull this up, bro. He's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna talk about the he's gonna talk about the rope swing. The day he doesn't talk died. about the rope swing. The day almost died. Because listen, me, Brennan and you and Phelps, we all went to the rope swing. I think Brennan's dad drove all of us there. And it's like it's not far from here. Dylan was like, dude, this is super sick rope swing, whatever. Like, dude, we do this 
all the time and i was like all right bet i'm, I'm so down me and brennan it was like our first time there you guys have done it before and we we're like all right bet, bet, bet. that was my first time in your house too like before was it? that yeah i remember your house honestly oh we watched 21 jump street you remember yeah <laughs> <laughs> we always I watched bad movies, the hell of movies. <laughs> <laughs> bad, movie, bad movies was our thing <laughs> oh well yeah at the time when we were like seventh graders still right? my thing <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, you had to give like Brennan's dad directions too. <laughs> like he didn't know, and, like he didn't know what he was dropping us off into, right? We get out and it's like a little hill. We gotta go down, right? And like the pond is there. We're like, all right, let's jump in, whatever. You and Phelps went first and like made it feel like, yeah, you you can, oh, this like, is you fun. We can do it. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, you guys can do it, whatever. And Brennan went before me, right? And so I was like, all right, let's do it, let's do it. I was like already scared, kind of because like I was like so skeptical. Of this. Like, <laughs> like I literally do. Like this guy's bringing me into trouble, bro. <laughs> you got the I pipe right was, next to yeah, the bro yeah. swing, bro. Bro, bro yeah. He told me about the. There was like a pipe right next to it, like a f steel pipe, huge. And like if you land on it, you're f yeah. oh, like dead. Oh, People have died bro. right there too, bro. Yeah, I no was way, like, I'm I, out. oh, I totally forgot about that, bro. And like I was like. I gotta like make sure like I don't like fall there <laughs> and I go and like you know how like you're not supposed to like let go as you're like still going right right you gotta, like let go as like, like as like you kind of like start coming yep. down I did that part but I like overthink like I just like let go at a weird angle my body was like <laughs> horizontal to the ground right <laughs> or to the water like you're not supposed to be like this right I was like this oh, I landed no. it knocked the wind out of me and I was scared shitless dude I thought I was gonna drown and like I got out and I was like Hey, I'm not bro. gonna do anything hey, wrong. When, when you saw him leave the rope and you saw for a split yeah. second, what did you think? Dude, well, I don't even remember Isaac going off, but I remember like it was it was nothing but a thing, bro. Just like oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's good, bro. <laughs> swim back, swim back. Bro. As long as you see him it's come up. For as long that's as right. You see that's him come right. Up. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was like focused on. Like, okay, he's breathing. Let's come back. Bro. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I got out and I like couldn't breathe still. They started running down to me. And I was like, oh, it because like I couldn't, like it knocked the wind out of me. And I thought I was drowning. I was like, I remember Michael Face go, oh, <laughs> he was like, oh, shit. Then they started like down. raining that day, too. Yeah, it was like half hurricane. Nobody was here, there. Was yeah, like, nobody was there, bro. But you guys are out of your mind. It was crazy. Tell them about the time we were in gym, you know, having a good time. And uh, the, the exit sign. Oh, <laughs> my favorite exit sign. <laughs> yeah, dude, freaking run out the brick wall, hitting the exit sign. Bro, so there's like this, this exit sign right next to the brick wall, right? And like the, thing, was to, the thing to do was to like run up and you like hit touch it. it. Yeah. Like, or jump off of the wall and touch it, but like, you know, just like tap it, right? Yeah. And like everyone would do it or whatever. And then this motherfucker. <laughs> I was Westbrook on that one. Yeah. <laughs> this dude thought he was LeBron and like tried to like break the rim. Like for some reason he was just like went up and like slapped it as hard as he can. It broke, <laughs> yeah, fell it down. Broke. Everyone yeah, was like, broke. oh shit. And then Rasmussen he's like, Marriott, you know? <laughs> That was my that was my heyday of going to the office, bro. So I was oh like, my, right, I'm, bro. Going, I'm going, yeah, you're I'm going way. to the office, man. You Screw were, you, Rasmus. <laughs> Gym class had like baddies. Like that's where my mind was at, bro. I'm trying to, <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make out during the intervention. <laughs> <laughs> I was a menace. <laughs> I had multiple slips. <laughs> People would be like looking at my slip. I'm like, hey, what you looking at? <laughs> Get out of here. Mike would sneak me into freaking intervention gym class, and then they'd be like, nope, he does not belong here. <laughs> they go to math them. class, English class, wherever you need to go, bro. This dude had a presence. Like, literally, he would walk around the school, and everyone would know, all right, he needs to go to the office. He needs to go to the office, like, immediately or something. <laughs> like, if he'd be roaming the class, like, the, the bad kid rep. He would be roaming the hall doing nothing you know going to the class and be like all right go to the office <laughs> bro me and mike were hiding in the bathroom during intervention he's like help me with homework and then the principal i forget what his name is uh he had a hot daughter though um well, <laughs> barker comes in bro he's just like i'll wait for you outside the bathroom <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> Collect myself a little bit, bro. Go out there and just... He just knew you were in there? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, all right, Mary, I'll meet you in the office. Bro, they had a full security bro. team hounding oh, this guy. 
guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd walk in the school, bro, and it's like, Dylan Marriott, come to room 170. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going there, bro. Although the, Ferris Bueller. <laughs> the ISS teacher was super chill. He just got in with the wrong people. Like, that's all it is. with the wrong people. <laughs> Oh, Meet the no. Millers. <laughs> I thought it was the start hill. of his downfall. <laughs> this bad rated R movies. Bro, I'm never going to forget. This dude has like the smoothest talking skills. I remember like anytime we went to a football game, <laughs> I, I turn around for like two seconds. I look back. Dylan's already making out with another girl. <laughs> I'm like Giannis from the three point line, bro. bro. <laughs> Bricking? What I do keep you mean, Giannis? Well, half the time, bro. <laughs> I, I break bad, bro. I'm like bad, but I'm just like, all right, moving on, bro. <laughs> I've never seen from the so logo. This dude, this, out of someone. Yeah, this dude doesn't take L's, man. This I don't dude know about that. I don't no, no, this, dude, no this, you, this is how you handle L's. You take an L and then you move on to the next one. Like, you're yeah. really like, <laughs> you're just like, I need right. that next L right now. Bro would be the perfect summer salesman. Yeah, <laughs> well, I was going to talk about every time I'd see this dude at those stupid high school parties and how insane this man would be. <laughs> like Diego was saying, bro. You remember like those house parties we used to see each other or like, yeah. the, at, like venues or whatever, yeah. the complex, whatever yeah. it was, yeah. right? Yeah. We go, we used to go all the time. Friend. Yeah, like whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, like whatever it was, bro. I'm still there, bro. Bro, this dude. <laughs> my man hasn't moved on. Uh, You're on stage now. Yeah, no, no. This dude would come up to me. He'd see me from across the way, right? Not and true. Like, I'd see him. <laughs> And this dude would be fabricated. <laughs> this dude would be like, bro, guess how many girls I kiss tonight? <laughs> I'd be like, dude, what are you talking about? I'd be like, bro, I kiss 25. Dude, John, I'm like, Yo. John, bro, I remember it. I was like, dude, you can kiss 10 girls tonight. And he's like, nah. And so I devoted my whole night to just getting him 10, yeah. 10 girls to kiss. I could be the best wingman in the world, no, I'm bro. I'm the best wingman. So. All right, we're going to fight. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we could both be the best wingman. It's kind of nice, though, because they just, like, vibe with you, and then it's like, oh, have you met John? Have you met Ted? I met your mother, but um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a better vibe, bro, because I can just walk up. I'm not worried about, like, this chick, this chick. It's because you're doing it for someone. Yeah. yeah like, it's not, way it's, better. It's not, like, it's not you that not, serious. You don't got to take the rejection. Yeah. yeah you're dude. like, oh, he's got to take the re Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this dude would be having competitions, too, with whoever it was. Winklers, Mad <laughs> dude, dog, the Phelps, Winklers, bro. Noah, John, Phelps. Kai. He'd be like, "Yo, all right, how many yep. girls are we gonna kiss tonight? <laughs> uh, all right, let's start now." <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. You just gotta be real with them. I feel like, but yeah. I don't know. That's been doing me dirty recently. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nah. how's that Herbie treating you for real? Though? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, bro, I'm honestly... No, we don't joke about that. I was I kidding. I just got over that. I'm a freshman in college now, so it's like, I can't even walk out to my car without, like, some baddies walking mm. around. But it's nice, because I'm, like, doing homework and comedy, bro, so I'm, it's nice to see some baddies around, bro, because I haven't had that all summer, so it's really hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hurt me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> not to have to like go out of my way bro like she's walking her dog i'm just like what's up puppy <laughs> oh cute dog what's his name you know yeah. it's not about girls though it's about the boys yeah it's about the, out the it boys. really is, it really is. Boys. like seeing you guys do your stuff it's like man they're locked in dude i can do the same stuff i've absolutely yeah for sure, absolutely for sure. respect to you guys when i got invited on here bro i was like let's go <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this since March from whenever it was, bro. <laughs> I saw your first podcast. I was like, let's go. Ice is looking different. Matt's looking different. Bro, Diego, everybody. You guys are all iced out, bro. I got bleached my hair, bro. I got <laughs> We're changing lives, bro. Talking about like getting yourself established and stuff like that. So I know you've been doing a ton with wise guys and, and comedy and doing a lot of stand-up comedy. How did you get on that track? Like what got you into comedy? I thought I was going to study political science. Phelps, there was this gig. It's like collecting signatures for this petition. Mm. My cousins call me. Hold on. California. Screw you, Nate. Um, so <laughs> Nate no. Lyons? Should I answer, bro? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Heard, I love Nate. I haven't, answer. Yeah. What's up, Nate? Hey, we're here. Do we just come in the front door? Or? You're at the crib? Yeah, we're, we're at the front door of the house. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, for sure. All right, you know where we are. So screw that guy, bro. But <laughs> I love you, Nate. I started doing plays, bro. Because we went to Santa Monica collecting signatures for this petition, but they put us in a hostel. And every Wednesday, they were doing stand-up at this hostel. And so we went. And then, like, the dude was doing stand-up, but, like, everybody spoke different languages. And so, like, he had to deal with his body language and stuff. I was like, all right. And then when we went home, because we were down there for a couple months, but when I went home, yeah. I watched La La Land for the first time. I was like... <laughs> 
Go to I'm going to find an audition. Started getting into plays. It's funny because the first play I ever got the part for, it was I played a young, struggling comedian. And people thought I was the best actor of all time because <laughs> I, I was young, struggling, bro. So my punchlines didn't land. So you didn't have to act. Yeah. I, literally didn't. <laughs> yeah, I literally didn't. Like They were all like giving me tips. And I, I, I was like, that. I'm so sh- Bro, I, I loved it though. I was the first person to memorize all their lines, bro, and I had the most lines too. That's sick. And so I was like, That's okay, tough. okay. And like, and they were like calling for line throughout rehearsals. I never even knew how this works. So I was like, all right, let's do it. And then that was fun, bro. It was like making people laugh yeah. like mm-hmm. night to night because there's 14 shows, 16 because like Jeez. the reviewers come through before you open mm-hmm. and they like write a review on you and like you read the critics Ooh. and stuff, man. For, yeah. Screw the critics. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, it was, hey, it was don't know what Talking about. <laughs> I just like kept auditioning, bro, and like got different parts. And then COVID hit, the theater shut down. I was always nervous in auditions, so I was like, I'm gonna start doing stand up to help me with auditions when the theaters do open back up. And then I started doing stand up, and I was like, dude, I love this just like I do like plays, acting, yeah. and stuff. I, I'm studying musical theater right now. It's all paid for, bro. I'm just like, dude, that's so a, sick. It's yep. amazing. I don't, even, I don't even have to work, bro. But I'm gonna have to start working, or running low. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we're, hey, we're not doing line. good, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so bad on me, bro. I'm going to drop so my head <laughs> Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, I, but I just like, started doing stand-up. And then with Wise Guys recently, it's like been a little bit more momentum. That's Keith, sick. shout out to you, man. <laughs> Keith Stubbs. He he owns all the Wise Guys in Vegas, too. Uh, I want a headline in Vegas, bro. Like, mm-hmm. that that would all be you so guys bro, in Vegas, bro. We can do the Vegas trip again. Bro. Oh, man. man. It would be so sick, oh, man. bro. Like, my family came and supported me on the Sunday night special, and it was ridiculous bro because i give myself like a b minus but it was an a plus night like what? everybody yeah a plus i love like, that i was in the green room bro and the first time ever being in the green room that's so wild yeah i was, was like it, re- were you like with a bunch of other like the other, other comedians yeah the other like comedians chilling? they're all just like nonchalant i was the only like first timer like ever been on a show kevin hart had some stuff he wrote back there bro joe rogan for real though kevin hart like he's writing stuff back there andrew schultz all these dudes bro and i was like nervous i was like dude my mom's here bro oh that's like, so sick oh. Ooh, I feel good head. like going out on stage, bro. Like I really do feel like myself mm. when I'm when yeah. I'm up there. Right now I feel like my myself like hanging around you guys, but like going to class and stuff, like most of the time I'm like not saying anything, bro. Mm-hmm. It's, it's true. I don't know if it's the Adderall, but like it's <laughs> 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 that locked in. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what it is, bro. <laughs> I might be overdosing, but <laughs> Yeah, Kevin Hart, the green the room. Yeah. Oh, like my first the- time doing that, bro, it was all like tripping me out. I was going to get 10 minutes too. So, you know, I, I've done 10 minutes, but I haven't done it like wise guys. Mm-hmm. The owner's coming back there. Like we're now on like just like first name basis. He comes, dads me up. That's, like, That's sick. Wait, uh, did everyone get 10 minutes? Yeah, everyone. So how many people were there? Nine. There nine. was nine on the show. Yeah. Did, wait, where, where did you go? And were you first, last, middle? What? I was the like an, I was the third to last. Yeah, they put me at the end. My dad was in the crowd too, and I was gonna do a magic trick, yeah. which I've never even done besides the street. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, I was like nervous about that too, bro, because I didn't know how I was gonna go, but I knew I was gonna like do jokes and like do whatever, bro. It's gonna be just funny, keep it off the cup, because. A lot of yeah. my, like, they, they've seen my stuff. My family, like, a lot of family was there, so I didn't want to, like, go out there and be like, sometimes I talk <laughs> super fast, and I blame it on my medication. <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't, like, so you were, like, swearing or anything? Or, uh, well, let me ask you this question first. Do, when you, Before you go and go out, do you have an idea of what you're going to talk about, or do you just, like, kind of do whatever's on the top that was funny like whatever or do you like write it out like have Dude, like an idea i have my jokes mm-hmm. and i'm like writing them down on my hand like that's my thing mm-hmm. but and then i like go out there and i i take a like a deep breath and i look around if i can just like set the tone yeah set and set the yeah. tone like because yeah. there's a lot of energy in there bro. absolutely so it's like oh this it's person electric. wants to say say something like what's yeah. what's doing yeah. like yeah. say something yep, yep, like yep, yep, yep. So it's kind of like imp- like improvisation you know like yeah, improv, yeah, improv, improv, like, yeah that's when it's that's there. when it's way better bro i've never brought up a notebook even when i first started half the time i don't even know where i'm going like i might like, shoot i have like jokes and stuff but i can't think of <laughs> yeah, any mm-hmm. of those jokes so it's like y'all on the first day <laughs> <laughs> so that's like the go-to hey y'all look like some young couple over here. <laughs> yeah, literally, bro, literally. <laughs> so but, dude it's the funnest thing in the world bro now now like all the comedians they're my friends yeah they like, made those actually, connections now it's sick i always thought it was gonna be like okay i know these people like cool whatever but like they're actually people i really jive with and whatnot 
whatnot. So cool. it's kind of like you guys, like you guys are the OGs though for me. So it's like, yeah, sure. Nobody's on your guys' level, but like these people showing out for me too, bro. Yeah, like helping me out. Do you ever get anybody that like heckles you on the street? I've had like bad times on the street. People uh, heckling me, but like people trying villains. to beat my. Ass. Bro, I'm like, I didn't come out here to fight, bro. So y'all deal with him. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some Skittles, Wait, bro. Like, are they, are, they, are they offended by the jokes or what? Or is it dude, like, well, they're so drunk, and I'm okay. like, I'm not even yeah. saying anything offensive. Like talking to this one dude, and then all of a sudden, like I'm talking to his girl. I, I didn't even know it was his girl, but I'm like saying something to her, and then all okay. of a sudden, like he's getting he's in your face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, girl. Like, bro. No, I ran, bro. One night I ran. Oh, sure. I'm like, and he was chasing me. Like everybody was gonna do. <laughs> I was hiding in the parking garage, like, <laughs> and Brady called me. He's like, "Hey, where you at?" I'm like, "Is he gone, bro?" Because <laughs> I'm really not trying to fight this dude, bro. I'm like, I'm weak as f- right now, bro. Like, I haven't been able to play basketball this year because I tore my ACL in Ooh, January yeah. and then got surgery in May. And freaking surgery humbled me to the. I'm sure to the core, bro. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't even get shower by myself. My dad would like help me into the shower. Oof. Help me out of the shower. It was like weeks of doing that, bro. I was freaking. That could have been me. Dude. I would have been scrubbing that back. <laughs> Dude, I, I I know you guys are freaking amazing, bro. But I would never have that. <laughs> And <laughs> no, but dude, just like not being able to move, just like chilling on my bed, have the, like the ice packs on my on my leg, mm-hmm. my knees like all yellow, red, and Ooh. whatnot. The windows are open, so the blinds are going back and forth. <laughs> Middle of the night, my the door just is like broken, so it's just like opens <laughs> and slams shut. Oh, <laughs> slam. I'm like sitting there, bro. It's like <laughs> in a demonic house. Dude, oh, yeah, bro. I watched a Kanye West documentary though, like and through the wire cool. though, like when he That's was like. Crazy. Yeah. The wire. I was like, mm, that's me right now, bro. Like, <laughs> I was feeling that stuff. And then I was like, able to, like, because I was working from home too. Yeah. Let's get the vibe back up, though. Uh-huh. I was like, losing the vibe. I was like, dude, mm-hmm. laying in bed all day. Every It sucks because, yeah. like, nobody's in the house, you know? And, like, just depressing. You're by yourself. Hey, literally. That's probably bro. when you did most of your thinking, though. You were getting yourself ready. It was torture. It was, yeah. But you were thinking. Yeah, dude. It was it was a different time, bro. Uh-huh. I feel like I just cherished it even more. Sure. When I got back, I was like, boom, let's do this. I'm not going to take anything for granted. Bro, yeah, like I remember when I first could like drive in my car and like listen to music, like go pick up my medication, not having everyone else do it for me, bro. But comedy is the funnest thing in the world, bro. Mm. We need, we need yeah. to get you guys out there, bring some, mm. bring bro, some days. Bro. You gotta like, let me know when mm, it is. I'm, I'm definitely in Sunday there. Nights. I've been wanting to go. Oh, it just it changes though. It right? does. It yeah, does. Keith Stubbs is like Dana White. I feel like mm. I'm like a little bit like uh, Sean O'Malley. Mm, right? Yeah, mm. I was like do ridiculous stuff, and I asked him before I went on. I was like, bro, be honest with me. Are, are you nervous? about me going up and he's like not at all this is why you're here and i was like all right at least there's one of us bro (laughs) 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 but reading like kevin hart like what he wrote and stuff like legends bro like actual legends i just wish i wasn't like as nervous but it was my first like show at wise guys and stuff when your family was there do you have to like cater to them your jokes are like i can't have to like i I cannot be as graphic as i usually am or you're like oh shoot my family my mom told me me. you're like (laughs) Dude, that night I was doing my GTA joke. It's like my girlfriend she said I cheated on her because I went to a strip club. Yeah. I like look around like that's ridiculous, right? <laughs> like, Who else your think mom? Like, <laughs> Is it cheating to go to a strip club? Silence, bro. I was like, someone say something, bro. <laughs> but then like dude, but I started talking about like titties and stuff, but <laughs> But I, I wasn't swearing in that one. Yeah, I, I need to stop to swearing crowd. too. Do you yeah. not? You don't swear that. Do you swear at all? Like in your comedies? I definitely. I I do. Last night, bro, this dude was up before me, and he was like saying some weird. Shit. I went up there. I was like, what's up, y'all? That's my older brother. I told him to stay the fuck home. <laughs> and, like, people were laughing because nobody was, he was just, like, saying weird stuff, bro. He was, <laughs> was just saying weird shit. <laughs> yeah, I was in, like, a little bit of that roast. But, was it, yeah. like, his first time or something? Like, one of the, like, I don't even know. Like, I've really? never seen that dude before. So. <laughs> like, it's open mic. That's why I love open mic, Open too. mic is funny, bro. That's why if you guys come, like, you, sh- you should come to, like, some open mic. Oh, okay. man. Because, yeah. Be so fun. Open, you're amazing, like, the first... I remember when I first started doing stand-up, like, I was way better the first two months than, like, the next five months. Wow. Because then all of a sudden, like, all the social aspect of mm. starting to know stuff and, like, comedians and... Catching cues. hmm Yeah. Reading the audience. But now it's, like, coming back to, like, when I first did it, and it's like, it doesn't even matter, bro. 
people are just looking for a good vibe, bro. Right. Some entertainment. Yep. I can act like an idiot. Mm-hmm. The pauses, bro, as well. Like before it was like, there'd be like a pause. And then I feel like I would say something right there. But if I just like let it happen, it's like hella quiet. I'm just like. <laughs> what's up yeah. <laughs> who wants me to bear my testimony right now dude <laughs> by oh, raising hands all right <laughs> who wants to hear my testimony who thinks i'm doing shit yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who wants me to hop the fuck up bro? <laughs> but yeah dude i feel because a lot of times when i'm nervous i'll say the f word yeah and i was like, like the f word but I'm, i've been trying to cut back on some of that stuff because when i went to los angeles i did laugh factory it was pg mm-hmm. and so oh, it wow. was pg <laughs> yeah now i'm used to it in provo bro all the shows in provo it's pg but it's like is it pg like some people in windows gray area kind of yeah like, gray yeah. area like my freaking girlfriend that i haven't seen for a year now i'm like three more days but wait so, what are you talking about right? <laughs> hold on a second here <laughs> <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> this is what happens when I'm on stage, like, all, like straight up, bro. I'm just like talking about something. All of a sudden, something hits me, like something real. You just I'm like, throw it in. I'm like, start talking. Yeah, I feel it. I was like, screw it. Like, dude, it's so You're fun. It, but it got crazy, bro. I started doing it six days a week. Now, twice on Monday, once on Tuesday, once on Wednesday. Mm. Twice on Tuesday, twice on Monday. Three times on Monday, twice on Tuesday, twice Jeez, on Wednesday. I just picked up. Like, I would have dreams about it, bro. Like, it felt like everything was just Love weird. That. Yeah, it was weird weird like once it becomes like a whole lifestyle doing it every single day it's like this is my whole week of it comes natural i just ramble on man Any, <laughs> anybody <I've, laughs> the host half the time is like all right man that's enough from that. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough from this guy and you just keep on going <laughs> so anyways <laughs> someone else comes on it's like Tell me that wasn't tea bag from Prison Break. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta go hide my face somewhere in there, bro. <laughs> or like a lot of people oh, like saying like no. I'd I'd bend him over <laughs> or some, <laughs> some weird stuff. I'm, just, I'm like laughing, bro. I'm just like, what? all right, man. This is that's but so it's awesome, dude. Like it's once like you really me in. some of the people like doing open mic for the first time and stuff, like, all right, this person's a bitch. <laughs> there's not a lot of there's not a lot of that bro like when i first started doing stand-up i was like screw them screw them screw yeah. them but then everybody just has like their different approach bro so That's wait cute. so where's the one that you usually do like stand up the most salt lake yeah salt lake for sure the wise guys there wise guys yeah wise guys so, tuesday so open Wednesday. open mic when do, when do you get scared do you shut like, up when, when do you get scheduled when do you get scheduled for it or is it every, is every is everything open mic right now like the open mic right now like headliners are there every night because the owners are still in the back bro like yeah watching their stuff because it's all my money, money to them yep. which is crazy to me it's like oh put me on like they're worried about the money like all right let's put this dude on interesting that trips me out bros so people paying to get in like 30 seconds before i go on i'm like Wait, what am i gonna <laughs> say bro? <laughs> right. how many how, how do you like sign up how someone, did you first get your yeah do, do, does someone does someone do you have to like is there like a sheet you sign up you have or a yeah, connection, like, like a sort of mm, like yeah because my first place is funk and dive in Ogden oh, in the basement my first time was on shrimps too bro was, <laughs> <that's wild. laughs> I don't do shrimps mom but <laughs> the, yeah Funk and I bro most of most of these places you can just like sign up on the sheet and go up a lot of people were like so worried this used, used to be me too like worried about like going up like open mic and stuff just go up bro talk to like the crowd yeah talk to the talk crowd to the like crowd. do whatever yeah. people want to see people like just trying it like do open mm-hmm. mic and stuff yeah that's fun it's then, weird but they kind of yeah. also like to see the struggle dude, they like, like to definitely, see the nervousness because they like, they're like I don't, i'm the opposite some of people that. get I'm like oh i get that secondhand <laughs> no, embarrassment i'm like bro <laughs> yeah. i can't even be seated in the same room as this guy <laughs> but it creates that energy though yeah. that's the point it's so awkward sometimes if i if i see someone struggling or like you're like perf- oh. like do, like putting on a bad performance i'm like F- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i'm so conscious of it and like in the room but like, like how's that's everyone watching too though that's what's, it, that's yeah. what's fun about it bro and like that's what makes stand up i feel mm-hmm. like it's just like seeing some weird stuff you're driving home like bro what i even see tonight <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what or, i hear or you ever like God, why the f- did I say that? I'm so stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, you're in the shower. You're like, oh, yeah, I was going to say. I'm like, <laughs> bro, those shower thoughts hit you hard. You're like, oh, I should have said this. I should have said that. Like, oh, Dude, right after God. when I come off, like, I'm so screwed right now. Like, that was you're like, God, I should not have said that shit. 
<laughs> it still still hits me like I'm like, dude, I should have done that grandma joke. Should have done. I paid some people laughing here tonight. <laughs> Y'all are getting fired. <laughs> Whoever you are, <laughs> just different fired. stuff, bro. But then when you get up there, it's like a whole different ball game. But like things start to slow down a little bit. Like it's like a QB looking at the defense. Oh. Like it's slowing down a little bit. It's like it's cover three right now. All right, we're, so this is the we're, perfect role run for the, him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> run the ball. Yeah, dude, but sometimes I'm like doing the opposite thing. My coach is like on the sideline, like what the. F <laughs> I'm trying to scramble, bro. Throw an elbow, throw a pick six. I'm just like laying on the ground. It's like, man, bro. I love I'm better that than that. I'm better than that, guys. It's like, so many awkward moments, though. I have an awkward moment every single night where I'm saying something random. I'm What's one of the most awkward moments? Probably at Trolley Square. This dope place, bro. It's like. Yeah art museum mm -hmm. as like murals of Kobe I'm like locked in bro but mm -hmm. nobody comes and so it's like six people mm. <laughs> locked in so, so, you, so you got that one on one that's that's six, that's, the, the streets have helped me like just imagine it's a filled out absolutely. arena absolutely like, yeah. no matter what but I'll be like talking like that in there and it's like people are just like talking back bro it's like that's the difference between like plays cause plays it's like a monologue mm. yep and then stand up it's a dialogue with mm. the crowd yeah. and so it's a back and forth and like you're going with it and stuff but I, I feel like it's just like not breaking character you know mm -hmm. like not not breaking character and being like this is affecting me in a, a way where I'm about to like hop off here or whatever like I'm cool like people like roast me and do whatever like this one dude like just trying to fight me though and like Charlie Square I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I said to his wife bro it's always the wife and then the dude like <laughs> He starts saying something out of pocket, bro. bro. <laughs> and I like say stuff back, bro. I'm feeling a different energy that day, bro. Watch the wrong James highlights. <laughs> you woke up feeling dangerous I'm that feeling day, bro. Dangerous. You were out here. But I got That's a long right. way to go, bro. They say you're not even good at stand up till you've done it for ten years. Jesus. I'm not trying to hurry anything too. It's just fun. Just like mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. So do you see yourself like doing it long term? Yeah, the rest of my life. I love that. The rest of my life, bro. Uh, be a clown. However long my life goes. being a clown. <laughs> I like seeing but. you guys do what you do. Like, I can show up and stick to the grind, even though it doesn't feel like a grind half the time. The Dude. grind is when it doesn't feel like a grind, but you're still doing it. And you're like, what am I doing? Yeah, people That's think you're partying. Grind. Like people think yep. I'm just like out here doing whatever. It's like, yep. <laughs> bro, I am doing whatever. Yeah. <laughs> 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 if you could perform anywhere, where would you want to perform? Man. Madison Square. <laughs> Madison Square Garden, man. Like comedy club though? Any place. Wise guys. Yeah. The best. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Ultimate shout out wise guys. <laughs> I'm trying to get those he brownie made points, it. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Wise guys, wise guys, Salt Lake City. <laughs> Make sure you <laughs> pay promo. No, wise guys, it like wise guys does put on the like Joe Good Rogan, stuff. yeah, goes there. All these legends, bro. Mm. Like, you guys could easily do what I've done. Like, not to say I've done freaking anything, bro, but I'm saying, like, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying, like, hard work and dedication. Yeah, yeah. yeah just like I get doing it. I get so it. many open mics and seeing weird stuff, yeah. bro. And it's like, get home late and it's like what i even see then you start to realize bro it's, it's good for you like, right everything yeah. is good Self for you reflection. so i know you started off doing plays did you ever think you were gonna just like fully commit to acting that's still yeah. number one over yeah. stand-up i think i'm waiting <laughs> no, I, no, hey, i'm waiting for the day Hold I dude, dude, yeah dude i, I want ever since high play. school i've called it and i'm still waiting dude i missed acting class this morning bro oh, <laughs> oh, gee, yeah. moving on man uh <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyways, that was cool. That's still it's number fine. one. Yeah, that's for number me. one. <laughs> Dude, Hell Center. Do you guys know Hell Center? Do you? Dude, it's in Salt Lake City. It's like a, it's a community health theater center. Yeah, Hell Center. Is Hell or health? Hell. Hell. H a l e. Oh, hail. Hail. Oh, my bad. Yeah. My bad. All right, all right. All right. All right. Sorry for my accent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from New Orleans. <laughs> but dude, yeah, that, that place, they have a $60 million budget every oh. every year, bro. And it's like a community theater. Oh. So, and that's nice because like rehearsals, you have a script mm -hmm. and that whole side of the coin like diving in i did shrooms one night bro shrooms again uh, but, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. but i did shrooms with this shrooms. one dude um who's this guy he pointed at me <laughs> <laughs> this one dude i did not affiliate <laughs> with this guy i did not i did shrooms with isaac <laughs> not away. true this is not true but then i went to sound 49 that same night that's a crazy night I did, yeah right i didn't even know i was gonna go <laughs> oh, bro my shrooms and then the silent 49 oh, yeah i had that go it was bliss it was because <laughs> yeah. I was auditioning for Peter Pan in two weeks. <laughs> there was actually the star catcher, but it's like the backstory on Peter Pan, like looking into his life, 
that's what's nice. Like stand up is like all about like the way I'm feeling and stuff. Mm, you step in the shoes. Yeah, I like, got oh he's, this he's, person's he's a method actor. different perspective. He's a method You're a method Maybe actor. I can shut up and like actually start <laughs> listening, bro. Like, that helped me. It was bliss that night because Peter Pan, like so many people come and go out of his life, but he like realizes like it's just him. So and seeing people come and go. Yeah, in the haunted house, I was like, I'm chilling, bro. You're, like you're getting activated. <laughs> I see it. You're like, hey, this is working. <laughs> you are Christ-like, bro. <laughs> no, I promise. That's cool. I would never take shrimp and go to a haunted house in the haunted house i was just, okay you're taking me there you take me here i'm cool with like wherever we're going like let's do it and then i started like helping people in the haunted house like people like freaking out and i was like no what do you want to do <laughs> you want to go left do you want to go <laughs> I was, it's like so cool calm and collected just, like guiding them <laughs> yeah, i'll take you there's like so a cool. steeple too there's like a little church scene and they like trap you in there i was in that room for like probably 45 minutes bro like <laughs> talking on the podium like, <laughs> <laughs> people come in I'm just like welcome welcome <laughs> they probably thought you were so part of it like a you were <laughs> bro you want to know something crazy I remember the craziest story this dude tell me in junior high bro about a 749 oh I was like dude this guy would make up some bull yeah, all the time, bro. <laughs> so, like, I never been to a Silent 49, right? Like, he got back one weekend after going to the Silent 49 with Phelps or whoever, right? So he, was like, he was like, bro, he's like, dude, you got to go to Silent 49. <laughs> I was like, I was like, all right, dude. I, I, and I wanted to go because I like haunted houses. And I was like, dude, tell me about it. He's like, bro, bro, it was the craziest shit ever. Like, this shit was illegal. What they did to us, like, this was crazy. Like, I, I can't explain it. He was like, dude, this dude with the mask, chainsaw, grabbed me and Michael, put us in a coffin until... 3 a.m. 3 4, 3, 4 a.m. And we woke up and the sun was coming up. I was like, bro, shut the f up, dude. This dude was saying some sh out of his ass. So you get so dramatic. I was like, this is so funny. And then like when we went for the first time, like I was like, is this gonna happen to me? <laughs> I was, like, I was, like, I was kinda like thinking about Dylan when he said Yo, I was like, it, well, has, it has dimmed down though. It has Yo, hey, down. relax, bro. There's no way you were in, there well, for, with in a coffin. Because he made it sound like it was no, the movie. He convinced me. He, yeah. He convinced me because you said that they forgot you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, you said hey, they forgot yeah. you and then they came back and said, Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. And I was, I was like, like, No, bro. bro. I was yeah. like, there's this guy in there for four hours. No yeah, I remember saying that same stuff yeah. to my brother. <laughs> <laughs> and then we pulled up together. I was like trying to make it like crazy. Dude, my first time was crazy. <laughs> this day, don't believe me. Oh my god, bro. I'm this never going so there. But it's, not no, it's crazy because you just do that all the time to me, bro. You just say some out of pocket stuff that wasn't true. I was like, oh. this guy, I was like, you're not fooling anyone, bro. I was oh like, it's I'm looking around oh, like Malachi hey. would do that to me all the time too. I remember he one was. time. <laughs> Oh, I love that guy. <laughs> One time he like he went to Vegas with his family. He came back, and you know how like at the time in Vegas they had the the cards like all over. Like I'm sure, they still do. Yeah, yeah, they probably do. It's cleaned up for sure. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, dude, we were like in elementary, and this dude told me <laughs> that he picked up one of the cards. And he called the phone number <laughs> and that the lady came to his house. <laughs> in elementary school? Yeah. Oh my God, bro. I was bro. like, bro, shut up. That happened. <laughs> he was there. Bro, I was in elementary though, so I believed him. <laughs> I was like, yo, dog, that's wild. <laughs> nah, man, this guy was a pathological liar back in the day. <laughs> back in the day? <laughs> make, make a, oh, wait, hold he on. He's making up some logical fallacies. Logical. Some false that's a false analogy. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> oh, bro, like football in the locker room, that was so, or just like football in general when we were in high school, while oh. and out, bro. Thursday nights, at the end of the night, they make us run. Yep. Bro, like across the field. Yep. This dude, we'd always find each other no matter what, bro. He's like, Yo, I beat him saying? every time. No, this mean. motherfucker thought he would beat me every you were time. faster than I thought. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm so, like trying to grab you. Yeah. <laughs> so we would race, like just me and him. Like we didn't care about anyone else. It was just me and yeah. him. Yeah. Bro, we race. There was this one time, like he just did not want to lose. This. We both fell to the ground. He grabbed me and like tripped both of us. And I was like, this guy is so extra, bro. Yeah, coaches are watching. We were just talking shit the entire time. I laugh. It was a good time, bro. I had so much fun. Yeah, they were just saying, like, run. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Nonchalant, just run. Yeah, dude, they would blow the whistle and everyone would run to, like, the other side. You know, another thing I remember about this dude? Bro, every morning, every morning, bro, we would be at the with football class. We'd all shower, right? Bro, this dude, <laughs> this dude comes to the locker room soaking wet. Does <laughs> not did not dry off at all. Like his hair is drenched. <laughs> <laughs> He's putting on his clothes. 
<laughs> what is f- <laughs> Bro, throw him, throw him, towel. Yeah, throw him, throw him. He had a towel too. We just oh, wouldn't dry no. off and put it like close. <laughs> were, you, were you in a hurry? <laughs> like, nah, bro, I thought I was good. <laughs> He's like, nah, bro, I'm good. I was like, bro, fucking dry off, dude. <laughs> I do, yeah, bro. My, my roommate said something about that like a couple of years ago. They're like, yo, we've been off. <laughs> 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 this man ain't trying off, bro. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what it is, bro. That bro's walking around in puddles. Dude, it was literally be like dripping out of his jeans. I was like, this guy okay? <laughs> no, I get done with my shower. I draw off my right leg. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, bro. That was one of the funniest things I've ever witnessed, dude. I was like, why is this guy not drying off? My my hair is still wet as wet as in class, bro. Dude, oh, that bro's was doing his homework in class. It's like dripping on his homework. <laughs> You're my favorite person in football, bro. Sure. Get us another hey, story. I'm hit him with another story, oh, away, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be in the weight room, bro. All right? And like, I don't know if you remembered, like, I don't know if you were conscious of this, but every time I'd see you lived, I'd see this. I'm like, dude, this guy is literally putting his life on the oh, line. His, body, his body's on the line 24 7. Bro, so we do bench press, right? Bro would like, he would, he would try to make a statement or something. Like, you know what I mean? It's for not looking. Yeah. Like, I don't know what you like. I mean, every time he would like max out, like, you know, and like, bro, the way this dude was positioned, like, oh my God, he had to like, the bar was like, definitely like diagonal his body. Cause you know, it would be like, yeah. look at it, like go like this. To, I was like, dude, why are you doing this to yourself? Like I, I mean like I forgot about that. He's, 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 No like I like said Like this this guy's back Gotta be Some way he's like Broken right In one way or another I was like Dude what's going on And I was like It's really not that deep <laughs> Like in the back of my head Hey feel my forearms I promise yeah, no, you No oh my god bro The forearms bro This dude it's I mean I would definitely Hype him up Like in junior high Hey y'all Feel this guy's forearms Cause like Hey no for a film right now Right here Bro this dude Got some forearms so hey, Dylan dog. Diego t- Feel it. This dude's got bro. some rocks as forearms, bro. bro. He's like, I just. This is not how it's been. No, it's been, it's been, it's been a thing since junior high. This yeah, dude, like, I used to get kisses from yeah. my <laughs> The forearms were just rocks. And I was like, bro, in the weight room, bro, this dude be breaking his back trying to lift. Bro. You remember when they started, like, uh, in the summer, they're like, all right, we're going to say people, <laughs> we're going to uh, state names that are in trouble oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from playing this fall. <laughs> Isaac Delgado, <laughs> Dylan, Mary. yeah, bro. <laughs> We'd be like, oh, you got y'all got too many U's, like, yeah. Right? That and F's, bro. <laughs> Let me play, coach. Hell, <laughs> use. Yeah, oh, dude. No. Oh, I had to work that shit off. That sucked, oh, dude. Man. Working I'm that shit. We both the played that senior year. <laughs> I was I played junior year, bro, and I had like a point five. <laughs> <laughs> I let it ride out. My dad was in the bro. office like arguing every day. <laughs> Oh man, this I cannot yeah. say enough about this guy. Been nice. an idiot in junior high, bro. This dude so, just did just did the most. Remember Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Holcomb? They used to get in trouble all the time in the hallway, in bro. In the hallway, bro. Dude. I was telling you guys about her. How yeah, she was just like monitor. monitor. The, she was a prison guard. Yeah, <laughs> she got this guy. Hella. Like yeah, for dude. no reason too. Actually, yeah, there's definitely a reason. <laughs> yeah. We've we've uh we've definitely had a fun time talking here, <laughs> hearing all about Dylan Marriott's troublemaking days. Oh, <laughs> Love hearing about your comedian stories too. Tell everybody where they can find you for the 500th time. <laughs> find me in a dark alley alleyway. <laughs> Uh, Instagram probably the best place for me Dylan underscore Marriott on Instagram if you want you know see some shorties on my story or just mm. stand up comedy <laughs> mm. mm. I'll play man yes Instagram. sir give him a follow check him out at Wise Guys Comedy Club in Salt Lake City mm-hmm. thank you so much for joining us Dylan we really appreciate it it's nice having you here and, and just being able to to connect man it's good it's good for everybody listening don't forget to leave a like hit subscribe leave a five star rating do what you gotta do to support us we really appreciate it thank you so much for listening hope you guys enjoyed my name is diego my name is matt isaac (laughs) dylan (laughs) and we'll see you next time